<coughs> I'm Catherine Greenhill and I'm going to show you very quickly how to create a digital story using Windows Movie Maker. The first thing to know is that Windows Movie Maker comes free bundled with Windows. If it's not on your PC, try going up to Microsoft uh, website and downloading. Right, first thing I'm going to do is go to import and I'm going to import pictures. I'm going to have a look at all these pictures that I took in February this year when I visited the Mill Park Library at Yarra Plenty. I'm just going to choose import and there I can see those photos have come in for me to work with. Let's find some that I like. I like that one of the bags so let's drag it onto the timeline. I also like this picture of the umbrella for the summer reads display. I liked the one with the little cubby in the playroom in the kids area so let's put that one down and I also love this wall in the kids area too and I'm just going to put four images in which says play kids learn I like that a lot so now I've got that down on my timeline I moved my cursor here let's play and we can see what the video is going to look like just here in this window so there's just that bag then there's the umbrella okay we get the idea let's just make those a bit shorter though so let's make that one drag this one in here shorter please not on for so much time this one shorter and let's see if we can get this one going shorter thank you very much now I really like music so what I want to do is add audio or music I'm going to import this track that I know sounds fine so here it is imported just going to drag that down onto the timeline where I can put audio. Aha! I'm going to make this shorter so that it matches the time that it takes for me to see my photos. So now when I click here, this is what my movie's looking like so far. Okay, I'm going to add a few more things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this right back to the start so that it starts at the same time. I'm going to give it a bit more time because what I'm going to do is at the front I'm going to add a title. So the title is going to be a title at the beginning and it's going to be a visit to Mill Park Library. Okay, let's add that title. I could change all sorts of things about the colour. And I'm also going to do credits at the end and I'm going to say thank you to Tanya and her staff at Mill Park Library. Okay, so I'm going to add that at the end. Okay, now I'm going to make those a bit shorter because I don't want the titles to be actually longer than the movie because that would be a bit silly. Okay, now you can see that this video, this audio here is actually shorter than the movie. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on it and drag it out and make it a bit longer. I can also right click on it and you won't be able to see this. Oh, you can see this and I'm going to get the music to fade in. And I'm going to right click on it and say fade out also please. So it'll be soft and then loud when we see it. And the last thing I'm going to do is have some fun and add a few transitions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to here and add some effects. And let's make the first one fade in from white. So I'm just dragging that down and putting it on top of the slide. And let's make the last thing that we see fade out to black. OK, and let's add a transition. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and find that nice flip transition. There it is, flip. So I'm going to grab that and I'm just going to put that here so that between these two images there'll be a flip. OK, so I've added audio, I've faded it down, I've put an effect, transition and credit. So now let's look at our movie. Putting the cursor here and let's play that. Okay, so the credit goes a bit long very quickly at the end, but I think that's good enough. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to File and I'm going to publish the movie, which means that I'm going to get the uh, 
it into a format that I can do something with. I want to publish it on this computer. I'm going next. I'll call that Mill Park Library. Thank you very much. Brary 2, because I've done this before. OK, next. Yep, best quality for playback on the computer. And publish. Now that's going to go off and render for a little while, so I'm going to stop this screencast here and then we'll have a look at the video in a minute.